Okay, so I ran out of time on the last video, hit my five minute limit. I, in the meantime, calculated the rest of these probability X is 17. So you got 20 games, 17 wins. So probability of win, 17 of those, three losses. Uh, and then we're at 7.2%. We repeated the process and every time I just uh, put this in my calculator and calculated the percentage here, 20 choose 20. There's only one way to win all 20 games. It's straight wins all the way across the board. Uh, 20 choose 19 wins means there's 20 ways uh, that could happen. And that's what these red numbers mean here. I calculated the, the choose notation. Now, all of these add up to a total of about 23.7, 23.8 maybe, around there, 23.8%. This last one, winning all 20 games is incredibly unlikely. So it's less than even a hundredth of a percent. Even winning 19 of the games is less than a 1% chance of that. Highly unlikely, but we still include them. So that's the answer. Uh, now you might want to write this notice here, how X is 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20. That's a lot to write down. So we can shorthand that and say probability that the number of games is, uh, looks like an easy way to write this would be greater than or equal to 16, because that would be those values, is 23.8%. Uh, Okay, so that is a relatively concise, extremely concise way to summarize the statement here. Probability that he beats Marco in at least 16 of their next 20 games, 23.8%.